Hungarian folk tales. The little pooly dog. Once upon a time, a very, very long time ago, Jesus roamed the earth with Saint Peter. They sought shelter for the night and knocked on many doors of many houses, but no one would let them in because they were dressed as lowly beggars. One day they came to the mansion house of a rich landowner. Let us see if these good people will accommodate us for the night. So the two lowly beggars entered the house where they were made warmly welcome. Their kind hosts made them a hot supper and gave them soft beds to sleep in that night. The next morning they thanked their kind hosts and left to go on their way. And as they left, Jesus said, Peter, this man is rich and has everything in the world he needs and yet there is still one vital thing that he lacks. We shall give him the gift of a beautiful baby boy and we will provide that boy with whatever he needs whenever he asks for it. So the rich man called his servant John and John overheard what the two beggars had said. Soon the woman of the house became heavy with child. and she gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. Soon after the baby was born, the rich man had to travel to the local village and his wife stayed at home with their young child. Then John had an idea. He cut the throat of a hen and smeared the red blood around the wife's mouth to make the rich landlord think that she had eaten the child. And then he stole away, taking the child with him. They rode and rode until they came to the town where the king lived. Here, John said to the boy, do you see, son, what a splendid palace the king lives in? I do, father. Now ask for a much better one at the other end of the town. And so the boy asked for a palace, and it really was much more spectacular than the one the king owned. The locals soon began to gossip about the magnificent palace that had sprouted out of the ground overnight. Even the king became curious to see for himself, and so he went to the brand new palace and declared that it really was much grander than his own and had everything a man could wish for in a home. The king soon came to like John, and so he let him marry his beautiful daughter. But after the wedding was over, the princess began to question John. Tell me, John, where did you get this beautiful boy from if you say that you have never been married before? And how come you own such a glorious home? Don't nag me, wife. I shall tell you everything one day. One day, when the boy was grown, he arrived home from school in a horse-drawn carriage. His wife told John that she would not live with him for a day longer if he did not tell her from where he got the boy and the palace. And so John began to explain. As the two of them were talking, John said to his wife, we forgot to tell the coachman to take the boy home. And as they opened the door, they saw that the boy had been standing outside and heard every word they had said. 
They caught him to eat, but instead the boy went down to the stables and told the coachman to saddle him a horse as he planned to leave. When the horse was saddled, he told his father, Now, John, you should turn into a black pulley dog and follow me. Then the boy, who had no name, left for home. By evening, he arrived at a mayor's house, where he asked for shelter for the night. The mayor and his wife made the boy supper, but when they offered food to his pulley dog, he told them not to. Instead, he gave the little dog coal to eat. In fact, the coal was still aflame from the fire. The mayor said, I have never seen anything like it in my life that a prince should feed a fine dog with burning coal. Mayor, have you ever heard of a person being buried alive? Yes, I have. And did it happen far from this place? It's a long ride by horse from here. In the morning, the prince awoke and again fed the pulley dog with burning coal. And he rode until he eventually arrived at a second village. Here again he sought shelter with the local mayor. They fed him a fine meal and again he asked for burning coal to feed his pulley dog. The mayor said, I have never heard of such a thing before. How is it that such a fine dog eats hot coals? Yes, but have you ever heard, Mayor, of a person being buried alive? I have, and it happened not far from here. If you ride fast, you will soon be there. So after a good night's sleep, the prince continued his journey. He arrived in his own village the next day at noon, where again he sought shelter with the local mayor. They fed him a fine meal, and again he asked for burning coal to feed his pulley dog. I have never heard of such a thing before. How is it that such a fine dog eats hot coals? Yes, but have you ever heard, Mayor, of a person being buried alive? Yes, I have, and it happened here. Is the man still alive who buried the woman alive? Yes, he is. Then please, Mayor, come with me. Then they went to see the landlord. But he had become so poor during the last 16 years that all he had was a pile of burning coal in the middle of his house and nothing more. The prince strode up to the pile of coal and gave a piece to his pulley dog to eat. I have never heard of such a thing before. How is it that such a fine dog eats hot coals? Yes, but have you ever heard of a person being buried alive? Yes, it happened to be my wife. Could you show me where she was buried? I was not in the cemetery, so I don't know where they buried her. That is such a shame. Is there a man or woman alive who attended that funeral? Yes, there is. Go then and call those people here. So off the landowner went and called his neighbours. Then they went to the cemetery and the neighbours told the prince which grave was his mother's. As the boy stopped in front of the grave, he said, Dark wooden coffin, come up to the light. And the coffin came up at once. Open your lid, coffin. The lid of the coffin sprang open. His mother was still alive in the coffin and she was sewing a shirt for her son. Then he took his mother by her arm and led her to his father. Well, father, do you recognize her as your wife? Yes, I do. Pulley dog, you must turn back into John at once. And the pulley dog turned back into John. Do you recognize this man as your servant? Yes. Do you recognize me as your son? Yes. That was why my dear mother had to suffer for 16 long years under the ground. John. Take the horse, ride home, and live a happy life with your wife. The boy stayed with his father, and they became seven times richer than ever before. And they all lived happily ever after. You may think this a tale, but this story is true.